with the release date of Dying Light 2 coming very closely, guys, I wanted to talk about a tweet that came out from Dying Light and, and Dying Light 2, really about the number of hours it would take to fully complete the game. And I want to talk about how this could really affect the future of Dying Light, guys, as as a, as a series and what we could expect maybe in the future with Dying Light 3. So let's get into it. So, guys... Obviously, coming to us from the official Dying Light Twitter account, they said uh, and tweeted, To fully complete Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need at least 500 hours, almost as long as it would take to walk from Warsaw to Madrid. So, guys, 500 hours to complete the game. Now, I have seen some comments from people saying as long as 300 of those 500 aren't looking for small collectibles, I'm in. And I'm seeing things of that nature. And... Um, I agree, but the sheer fact that 500 hours you could put into this game to fully complete it is something pretty special. And, you know, I've been really excited about Dying Light 2, uh, in particular, especially coming off the first game. It's very unique in a number of ways. The second one looks like it's really ramping all of that up. I was a little bit concerned at first because of the delays and things of that nature, and that always kind of makes you a little bit concerned about it being in a development hell cycle, things of that nature. But from everything I've seen of Dying Light 2, I'm really excited about this title and can't wait to get my hands on it and really put some time into it. I don't know if I'm going to be completing the entire 500 hours worth of it, but if it's really good, then there might be uh, there might, it might be worth you know completing the entirety of the game. That being said, guys, um, what does this do for the future of this franchise? Well, I mean, when I see you know when we're talking about 500 hours to complete a game, what that tells me is that Techland, the you know developers of Dying Light and Dying Light Two obviously put a, a ton of resources into really making this an expansive world and things of that nature. And, and that's absolutely awesome. But what that really leads me to, guys, is what could we maybe see in the future here for this franchise? They started with, you know, obviously Dying Light. Now we get Dying Light 2 where we're talking, you know, 500 hours to complete the game. What could we see in the future with Dying Light? Now, obviously, we don't know if Dying Light 2 Stay Human is going to have multiple DLCs and things of that nature. I'm sure they're going to have some form of roadmap for this game, guys. But I can just imagine that, obviously, if they want to round out the trilogy or they want to continue making Dying Light games, they're going to want to one-up once again. I mean, they really outdid themselves here from Dying Light 1 to Dying Light 2 Stay Human. And so to go to Dying Light 3, what could that look like? I mean, we're talking 500 hours to complete the game. It Could could it be 1,000 hours? Could it be more than that? I mean, who knows what it would be moving forward. I mean, this just gets me really excited, not just so much that there's a ton of content that's going to be in the game to, to really play and really sink our teeth into, but it also excites me for the future of this series and the franchise as a whole. I'm so excited for, for the community of Dying Light, which I'm a part of it. I'm excited about this, guys, because it's not just, you know, it's it's you could look at this and look at it in hindsight saying, oh, yeah, this is just for Dying Light 2. But if you really look at it from the perspective of moving forward, we, we usually see games come in threes, guys, right? There's usually a trilogy. And then if they do really well, then you start getting, con you know, continuations at that point. Or after that trilogy, a lot of times the developers will move on to other IPs or other games or create new IPs. And so with Dying Light, you know, I, I see this and I see these numbers and depending on how well this does from a sales perspective and a reception perspective, we could really see something special happen even though this is obviously, I'm ex I'm very excited for Dying Light 2, but we could even see something, you know, they could maybe try to one-up themselves once again with a Dying Light 3. But what do you guys think, guys? I, I think that one of the things that comes to mind for me is that this was obviously worth the wait. If we're talking, they delayed it so that they could create more hours of content and things of that nature in this game for us to really play. I'm very excited about it, guys. Let me know, though, in the comment section down below, what do you think this means for Dying Light to stay human? Being, you know, 500 hours to complete the game, what does that tell you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Dying Light 2 content and videos, 
Stay here with Zero TV.